It's not about this ruling and that ruling and an appeal. It's about Paul and Maggie, who in that one moment, in the space of a minute, came to a horrible, bloody end. Maggie trying, I believe, to save Paul and find out what was happening to her son when she was cut down as well. I mean, do you ever sit back and just let yourself think about what they endured that night? Listen, I got to see photos that the public hasn't seen, and they haunt me. I mean, it is one of the most gruesome death scenes I've ever seen. It was just horrible, Nancy. It was horrible what they what they must have been thinking about in their final moments, final seconds of their life. Uh, but again, I can't thank our team in the Attorney General's office and our law enforcement partners for this Herculean effort. It, it felt almost like, in a legal sense, we were storming the beaches in Normandy. Um, this was a very, very hard case to prosecute logistically, and I can't thank them enough. And I want to say one last thing. Um, people keep asking me, at least over the last year, what would drive a man to, to brutally murder his wife and his son? And what I tell people is, in my mind, in my opinion, I believe that Alec, in his own warped way, loved his family, but he loved himself more. And murdering them was the price he was willing to pay to preserve his way of life. And that is what I kind of boil it down to. Creighton Waters, in South Carolina, when somebody gets a life sentence, is that life till the end of their natural life? Is it life without the possibility of parole? There are two consecutive yeah, life so sentences li here. What does that mean in real terms? Yeah, so in South Carolina, that's life without parole. Uh, and so uh, and he's got two consecutive life sentences. Uh, I, uh, and so. Uh, ultimately, uh, you know, what does that mean in practical terms? Well, having those two consecutive life sentences, if for some reason one got, uh, you know, thrown out on appeal and the other didn't, uh, which is an unlikely scenario, but you still have the other one there. Um, and uh, But ultimately, uh, that's without parole. Now, obviously, the legislature at some point could go back and change the law and provide uh, parole eligibility for life sentences. Uh, so that's why that uh, consecutive nature is still important. Uh, but as the law stands and how it stood, uh, I believe since 1996, uh, that's without parole, and Alec is not leaving the South Carolina Department of Corrections uh, until he's leaving in a pine box.